What's up, YouTube? It's Scavengers. I'm back with another video. Um, the guy's name is Olawulu, something like that. Uh, he got two videos I wanted to see, so we're just gonna react to them. Let's get into it. Yo, my computer is chugging. I can hear that drink coming through the mic. You got demon shot you Tadro like that submarine cooked them billionaires. EDP demons pulling up on kids like Oh hi, I'm here to pick up a cupcake. And then you got Dunkin' Donuts employee of the century. Oh my god. These motherfuckers must be stopped, bro. Before we get into all that, we gotta go back to the beginning. So the cancer is finally catching up to this nigga. Better make a wish, buddy. Either way, that means we finally getting closer to seeing Muzan getting his cheeks clapped in a 12 Hashra gangbang in HD, nigga. I don't know if that's how Demon Slayer ends up to the guest. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Pause. Hard pause, bro. Anyways, before all that, he needs to cause a ruckus in Lego City. So this man summoned Akaza off his lunch break, as well as the rest of the Demon Dick Riders to the Infinity Castle, and we meet our two assholes for the season. Yes, <laughs> Yoko, who's basically just some creepy ass nigga in a pot, and Han Tengu, who's really just a pussy ass motherfucker. Probably likes to watch his girlfriend get fucked on weekends like Sneeko. Oh, yeah, there's also this light skinned ass motherfucker, Doma. And Kokushibo's edgy ass. Like, what the fuck are you doing hiding in the corner like an hey, iPad yo. kid, nigga? Go play with your friends. Musa's late as hell, so while they're waiting, this nigga Doma just starts moaning in Akaza's ear, like, oh, I can't wait to go and gobble this woman I got at home. You hear that? I eat pussy. And he's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Akka's a mad as shit. You know I'm a feminist. And just obliterates this motherfucker's jaw. Anyway, so Muzan finally pulls up and he's like, You useless motherfuckers. All y'all shut your bitch asses up. These demon slayers are cooking us. We're down like 20, nigga. If I have to add one more name to my Instagram bio, what the fuck are y'all doing? Oh, well, Muzan, you did kind of kill all the lower ranks for no reason whatsoever. It's kind of your fault. I beg your pardon? You trying to say I'm a dumb, small, dick-having bitch, huh? You want to die, nigga? And this motherfucker's not even worried about dying, bro. He's like, oh my god, Muzan's touching me. I'm so hard. Muzan doesn't kill him, though, because he somehow miraculously found the Swordsmith Village, and they pull up just ready to start a ruckus in Lego City. Starting with this innocent <laughs> civilian that Gyokuro just does so wrong. Man, why the fuck we gotta wear these goofy-ass masks? How the fuck am I supposed to pull bad bitches with this on? He then stumbles upon this beautifully crafted vase just sitting out in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. Like, come on, if you see a random-ass vase, you're going to investigate. Nah, I'm hitting the dash. We know demons exist. We hitting the dash. I'm hitting a full length sprint. I'm gone. <laughs> so he walks up, reaches in. Oh my goodness! This nigga just chewed him up and then spat him out. Had this man looking like ground beef, bro. Then elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you got this nigga with what seems to be herpes on his forehead, just chilling on a roof, and inside these two are just vibing out. Tanjiro, Tanjiro, wake up. Huh? Pass the blunt, nigga. How did you fall asleep? I fell asleep? What? Where's Nezuko? She's on your lap. Oh, dumbass nigga. Is this your first time? Oh no, I, I, I do this shit all the day. 420, bro. Mmm. <laughs> do you smell that, bro? Yeah. What is that? What the fuck? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what I'm the sorry. fuck? Why is he crying? Tanjiro's just sitting there completely perplexed. Cause normally he would have smelt this man from a mile away with his musty ass. But Micho ain't even paused. Nigga was on straight timing immediately. No questions asked. Just tried to chop this man's head off. Oh, stop. Y'all gonna make me shit myself. I just ate two niggas on the way here and ain't see it right. The fuck you mean you ate two niggas? Find you mixtape! And this dude's just dodging everything fabulously. So Nez goes like <laughs> They are just jumping this man. But when they managed to cut off his noggin, this man switched anime, started transforming into the Warhammer Titan. Just to get the dog shit punched out of him. Sasageo! Sasageo! Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> What actually happened was he gave birth to a twin, and the one with the Korok leaf just swatted Mitro to kingdom come. So now it's just Tanjiro and Nezuko against these two herpy forehead demons, and before they can even start squabbling, Had bro looking like he's either getting electrocuted or some of that Ash Cash treatment. Uh, does, does that nigga have a blood? 
licky? Why is this motherfucker Gendo just casually chilling on top of the roof with a sawed-off shotgun? Bang, bang. He played duck hunt with these niggas' heads. These here motherfuckers got me all the way fucked up. <laughs> what the f***? How did he get a strap? This ain't Chirac. So Genda cuts his head off, and Tantra's like, you dumbass, you're just making more of them. Huh? Now there's so many of these fuckers, it looks like a bang bro scene. Oh, Anyways, Tantra gets joined by this bird nigga. So he starts yelling out to Genda to save his ass, but uh, <laughs> he's a little busy. Busy getting turned into a shish kebab. Bro really got that Krillin treatment. You need to worry about yourself, gang. Huh? Nigga say I'm out of town, I'm in Hong Kong. I'm just trying to get this cash in Hong Kong. My ears, bro. That shit was ass. You disrespected my homie's mixtape. Not again. <laughs> anyway, so now we're back at Mooch after he got his ass poppy ulted at the fuck out of the battle. He's hauling ass trying to get back when he notices a little jit fighting a level 99 magic card. Running out on rare candies. He's just watching like, yeah, he gonna be all right. You asshole, come back. I have perks. Hold on, he say perks. So he saved his little ass. Added plus one useless nigga to his party. Now, while they're running together, he finds another plus one useless nigga. But this one actually has direction. So then they start running again, and the random's like, there it is. The shed where I put your sword. Just grab it. You can kill all these fuckers. Hold your horse's penis mouth. It's not a penis, we're whistling. It's here. And then the meat grinder from earlier rolls out. And I love how Mitro just shoves both of them out of the way. Like, look, bro, there is 100% enough space for him to just squeeze by. But he's supposed to be an asshole. Anyways, he comes out of the pot like a suspicious fluid. And he's all, it's a pleasure to meet you three soon-to-be victims. My name is Gyoko. I love to have intimate sex with faces. Can I show you guys some? Hey, uh, please kill this guy quickly. He's uh making really strong eye contact with me. Nigga, what eyes? Behold! Don't, don't mind all that, that's just my nut. I call it the Leaning Tower of Niggas. <laughs> Isn't it completely fucked up? I don't even think I can show this on YouTube. Oh, and this is the best part, watch this, watch this. <laughs> you see, this kid's crying, but like knowing me, I was such a fucked up kid. I'm gonna start laughing with the dude, bro. Anyway, so he's having a blast, right? But Mutro with the cadence of Moist Critical is like, you better cut that out. That's my nigga Kyle in there. And if y'all are wondering why all these non-black demon slayers are saying the n-word, what a fucking well, who's gonna stop them? <laughs> you nigga? <laughs> Plus Tanjiro Swords Black, he gets a pass. Man. Anyway, so this dude hit a missed down of jutsu. Tried to take this man's head in one fell swoop. Did I just say one fell swoop? I ain't never said that my entire life. Anyways, he dodged it, and he's all, I don't even care about your homie Kyle. I just like to fuck face. <laughs> Yo, that's why I love Muchiro, bro. He is not about all that yapping. He's just trying to find his next pack to smoke. Anyway, so then Pothead pulls out two level 30 magic cards, and they just start spamming toothpick. He dodges them, but then one of the fish is like, those two random bystanders minding their business? Yeah, fuck them. Got this dude looking like a porcupine. Mutual's a better man than me, bro. I am not tanking all those toothpicks. I would have stood my ass back and watched them get turned into Swiss cheese like, damn, that's crazy. Anyways, he runs that speed blitz again, and Vase Bluster just eats it, and then puts him in a Kuchi Water no Jutsu like he was Kakashi. Not a Kuchi Water. What? Not a Kuchi Water. No. <laughs> So Genya's currently chilling on 2 HP, no shield. And Nezuko's wrestling this guy while he's dead ass laughing in her face. Would you hurry up and kill that bitch? Girl, I'm angry. Focus on yourself, bro. I'm trying to riz her up. Put her in my Duke Dennis Riz compilation. <laughs> You're weird as hell, gang. I'm pretty sure she's actually 12. Who's gonna do something about all these EDP ass demons he's picking up, man? Wait, what? <laughs> Make America great again. <laughs> And just like that one toxic ass jet that's in all my Valorant games, the group leader is just flaming his team every single second like, why are you getting clipped like that, Aizetsu? Girl, I'm angry. Niggas about to put you in an AMV. So this man just rips his spear out. Hey, they're finished. Well, now they're finished. The village needs a baddie immediately. And just like that, Tits Ahoy's on the scene, ready to make me hard while watching. I mean, save the day. Yo, I don't even care anymore. Y'all can call yo. me Philly on Mars if you want. I'm going to say what I want to say. Anyway, so these fish are just relentlessly massacring these penis mouths civilians. Like, Jesus Christ. That nigga definitely just got turned into some salami. But before the fish can continue to run up his KD, Mitsuri pulls up, hacks on it, and just flashes every single one of them. Nigga's friend is dying in his arms, and all he's focused on is, whoa, whoa. Her sword is literally a whip, and she's just skipping around, brutally murdering all these monsters. Like, oh my god, Slay Queen. She even packed up this fat-ass fish, saved Unk, 
And while she was like, oh my god, are you okay? Unk was like, I'm about to blow. Hey, yo. Hey, can you take me to the hospital? Back the f*** up, bitch. Anyway, so I'm got blown out of a goddamn building. Nezuko's trapped under this giant house, but she's trying to get this nigga killed. Hey, hey, dumb bitch. They're coming. Let go of the fucking sword. She gripping onto that shit harder than DDG's trying to hold on to his rap career. Anyway, so Tanjiro notices them boys looking for him. When I find that little dweeb and his sister, Muzan's gonna make me the group leader. No, he's not, nigga. And he's like, Nezuko? If you don't let go of this damn sword, I'm gonna walk my ass right out of here. I ain't going out like my Goku. She lit Tanjiro's sword on fire, and that's when Tanjiro had a, oh wait, I'm the main character. Moment, straight up copied Naruto. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. <laughs> and it's like, hey, you bitch ass niggas. Huh? Big dick is back outside. The main one saw that shit, cut that angry act for a second, and was like, oh shit. Ain't that that one nigga that made news on piss his pants and hide for a hundred years till the nigga died? Girl, I'm dead. That shit was so hype, I did a random backflip in my room. I'm not lying. Anyways, there was one more, and it looks like Genya got his ass. Jesus Christ, he did that nigga bad. And look at how happy this man Tanjo looked. Genya! <laughs> what the f happened to this nigga? Is, is that Genya? Oh my god. I think this nigga drank the Grimace shake. My head! Oh, oh, oh. Isn't this motherfucker supposed to be gentle? This shit burns! Girl, shut up, nigga. I'm angry. They're gonna put us in another EMV. Anyway, so Tanjo stole a wrong card from that Hinokami Kagura he just did. And he realizes if they didn't kill them, there's gonna be one more demon out there playing hide and seek somewhere. But before we can look for him, don't gas yourself up, Tanjo. You didn't kill this upwreck on your own. Nigga, are you off a of perk? I knew that shit was fake, but I still ate it because I'm a gremlin. Oh, are you geeking, geeking? I saw you get stabbed. How are you even alive? I used my American breathing and prayed to Donald Trump. Oh, I love Trump. W wait, did I? No, nigga. The angry one's already self-revived and is ready to start dropping PK Thunders on their heads again. So they get ready to squabble. And Tanjo's like, whatever. So Genya gets the blasted. Oh. And because Korok Leaf Demon's dumbass blasted away the naked old head smell from the hot springs, Tanjo's able to sniff out Hentangu's main body's marks with his 99 overall nose. I should have never ate that Mexican nigga. That's just like Taco Bell to us demons. Hey, Captain America, he's hiding in that bush over there. So he runs off and Tanjo's stuck fighting the bird, dude. Hello, motherfucker. And they start jumping him. Mr. Anguish is about to finish him, but Nezuko comes out of nowhere thinking she's the main protagonist. Yeah, you are not her, buddy. Gen is just running through the woods trying to find this nigga, and he's just in his head praying like, Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump. And the longer he takes, the more Tanjo and Nezuko are getting fucked up. Where is this fucker? Bora, I need the map. He's below you. <laughs> Don't hurt me. This little nigga's the demon. Oh, shit. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to catch this dude? Yo. He's smaller than my penis. Anyway, so Genya finally catches up to him and tries to fruit ninja his ass, but then his sword just snaps in half. So now this nigga is just sitting there completely perplexed, wondering what the fuck this nigga's neck is made out of. And like a true confused American, he resorts to just pulling out a gun and shooting. But even that's not working. Praying to Trump is not working. He's gonna have to try Obama next. Look at this nigga, bro. He got no songs where he gotta be doing all of this, bruh. These motherfuckers were literally fighting for their lives against this giant anti haven CGI tentacle monster. I'm sorry, call me a freaky ass nigga if you want, but you can't look at this and tell me this doesn't look off. Anyway, so after they packed this fodder ass demon up, I'm not even gonna mention his name, that weak ass bitch. Bro had to dick right to get more strength. Oh Lord, Muzan Daddy, pause. I'd like nothing more but to die at your hands. Don't even make it quick. I want it to be as painful as possible. Yeah, this nigga's a dick rider. He's perfect. And his whole power was just giving niggas yeah. sweet dreams. Anyway, so Tanjiro's left on like zero HP. If you're wondering how he got hurt, it wasn't the demon. Some crackhead ass train conductor came out of nowhere like, bitch ass motherfuckers. I was dreaming about ice spies. And he just oh, stabbed his no. ass. So now Red Goku's using a chug jet to try to revive him. And that's when this motherfucker Akaza decides to stop jerking off somewhere and just pulls up on these niggas like. Hi, how are you? This absolute asshole saw Tanjiro knocked on like 10 HP, no shield, <laughs> and was like, Hi, how are you? Jumped and completely ignored the fully capable Hakura 10 millimeters away and tried to squash Tanjiro's head. Oh, 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 oh. So he uses 5% of this movie's budget to make this nigga back the fuck up. And this motherfucker is just standing there smiling while his entire arm is just there doing the 
fucking banana splits. Like, damn, bro, I get it. You're a demon and all, but nigga, you do not feel the pain? Anyway, so anyway, so this thing is like, join us. And Rengoku just looks at him like, nah, I'm good, bro. But just look at your drip power level. Why would you want to stay a small dick, weak little human bitch? Small dick? Your mom knows how big my- Oh, I know you're not talking about moms. Nigga, ain't your mama dead? Mommy? Dead as hell. Got sent to the gulag by cancer and fucking lost. You think she'd go outside like that if she was a demon? And ain't your little brother sorry as shit? Can't even pick up a fucking sword? And your dad's a deadbeat. Get out of the way, nigga! Nigga made it his nine to five job to crush your little brother's dreams like. You don't have future here. You don't have future. You can never make. You can never make. Your hair breathing heavy like a dog. Think about your life. You are a failure. You are a failure. You can never make it. Nigga, just become a demon. You'd be unstoppable. This nigga just dissed my entire family. Oh no! Nah. Let's play a mini game. Whoop this ass! Anyway, so this man stomps his musty ass feet. And first off, why is this man wearing anal beads on his ankles? Had Shorty in the back singing that. My fucker just skedaddled at him, started squabbling, and Tanto's just on the sidelines looking at us like, oh no, nah, they're moving so fast I can't even see them. Fuck, I'm a side character in my own movie. Whole battle, Akka's just talking to Red Goku and past as like, in my hundred years of respecting women, I've never killed a flame asher of your caliber. You're actually him. Bro, if I'm fighting a nigga to the death, and he's talking to me like he already packed my ass up, I'm pulling my pants down. That nigga's not gonna fight me naked, bro. Your mom's a hoe. Who started breakdancing and was like, <laughs> nigga no jutsu. And started blasting Van Goku with invisible hand blast. Y'all gotta remember, all this fire and special effects we see do not exist, bro. So Van Goku just looks like a dumbass flinging a sword around, and now because just a crackhead shadow boxes. Then these niggas just stop out of nowhere to just have the most expensive staring contest known to man. Anyways. So Red Goku's like, damn, you Loki shitting on me. I gotta show off for them little niggas. And he just dashes right up to him like he's trying to smell what cologne he got on. These niggas are just chopping in boxes. So I'm just gonna start making sound effects. Boop, 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 boop. Shang, shang, chong, chong. Oh shit, we gotta Yo. help. Hey, sit your weak asses back down. It's my movie now. So he runs up on him, gets weak. weak. Perfect shields his attack. Just slaps him 50 feet to go touch grass. Motherfucker spent 10 seconds in nature and came out thinking he was solo Minati. Gaisa, gaisa. Escape the matrix, Red Goku. Become a demon. And these two are just on the sidelines watching bro get his ass whooped with popcorn. Like, bro, go help him. Now he's just on his ass, and Akka's still trying to give him the opportunity of a lifetime to join the dark side. Are you ready to switch teams now, Rengoku? Or am I gonna have to keep beating the dog shit out of you? And bro's just looking at him thinking, you low-key cooking the fuck out of me. I might have to reconsider. Now, fuck that. What did Nick A30 tell me? Never back down, never what? I swear, this whole battle was just Akaza fucking begging Rengoku to become a demon. Like, please, bro, become a demon. It's so cool. And Rengoku's just like, nah, bro, humanity clears over and over and over again until this nigga decides it's time to pull out his ultimate attack. It's anime, so of course he waited until he had one eye fucking blinded and every bone in his goddamn body broken before he decided to dash at this man start butchering him like the goat me to eat back in Africa. Now after seeing this man twist his blade up and through, you would think he won. But uh, nah, that nigga is the Dunkin' Donuts employee of the century. This man really punched a fist sized hole into him and he's begging him to stay alive. Nigga, what? I don't understand how this man Rangoku is getting stronger the more damage he takes. Like he's supposed to just be a regular, regular dude. Akaza tries to swing on this man, but he just blocks it. Like where is he finding this power from? Anyway, so the sun's coming up. So Akaza's about to start shitting himself because he knows the second the sun hits his body, he gonna turn into grandma's ashes. But Goku is not about to let this man dip. He is holding on for dear life, literally. Man, fuck that arm. You can keep it as a souvenir. And he just dips. But this man, Tanjo, is out for blood. He channels his inner Patrick Mahomes and just yeets his sword 500 meters straight through this man's chest. And it didn't even affect him. Don't run now, you bitch! You killed my nigga! You can't just run from me now! You whole ass pussy, get back here! Who the fuck? I'm not worried about you, little nigga. The sun is coming out. Oh, let it become night again. I'm coming for your cheeks next. Y'all, I got a quick message, bro. I made this video off a combination of McDonald's Wi-Fi and my phone's data. So bear with me if the quality's not up to like the craziest for this one. All right, love y'all. Peace. How's a really good video? Yeah, it's good. I might put both of them together in one video.